Phil Mickelson just revealed he lost millions from gambling. Phil Mickelson sure has put himself in a rough position this year, not only because his comments about leaving the PGA for a Saudi-backed league that sparked instant controversy and led to Phil taking a break from the sport, but now has been revealed according to an excerpt from Alan Shipnuck's forthcoming biography revealed that Mickelson reportedly lost millions with gambling and that Phil Mickelson's gambling losses were far greater than previously known. Losing millions in gambling addiction is something that Phil Mickelson went through. Gambling always comes with a price that Phil also paid. But how many millions did he actually lose? How did he lose it? Stay tuned to find out all the details. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Mickelson acknowledged that he's struggled with a reckless gambling habit that he even called an addiction. But he added that it isn't a threat to his financial security. This doesn't match with what Alan Shipnuck, a golf writer, said. Alan is also the author of Mickelson Biography, Phil, the rip-roaring biography of golf's most colorful superstar. He revealed some important facts about Phil Mickelson. According to him, Phil has been facing financial issues because of his gambling losses. Do you think this has played a role in Phil's decision to join the Live Tour? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We know that Phil has made serious money over the last decades as a professional golf player. But how much did he lose then if it isn't a threat to his financial security? Since turning pro 30 years ago, he has had one of the greatest amateur careers ever, including winning three NCAA individual championships. During this time, the PGA Tour has been good to him and he has earned an estimated $925 million on and off the course during those three decades. And according to a source with direct access to the papers, the golfer was reported to have earned something worth $40 million a year during his peak years. Recently, Shipnuck shared that Mickelson gambled away more than $40 million over four years. It doesn't end there. Now federal auditors are investigating Phil Mickelson's role in an insider trading scheme as they found his gambling losses totaled more than $14 million from 2010 to 2014. A recent biography on Phil Mickelson's life that was released on May 17th alleges that to be the reason behind Mickelson's eagerness to cash in on the Live Golf Invitational Series. After government auditors examined his financial records, it is claimed that Mickelson lost more than $14 million in gambling losses over a four-year period from 2010 to 2014. That is a massive amount of money, even for a professional athlete that has earned large sums during his career. Mickelson did not deny gambling allegations. According to him, he is trying hard to fix everything. He said, gambling has been a part of his life for a long time and it is embarrassing. He also said that he's been in therapy to address it. Phil Mickelson has opened up about his reckless and embarrassing gambling habits and shared the following. My gambling got to a point of being reckless and embarrassing. I had to address it. And I've been addressing it for a number of years and for hundreds of hours of therapy. I feel good where I'm at there. My family and I are and have been financially secure for some time. Gambling has been part of my life ever since I can remember. But about a decade ago is when I would say it became reckless. It's embarrassing. I don't like that people know. The fact is I've been dealing with it for some time. According to the federal audit, Mickelson's annual gambling losses totaled around $56 million. This means that the golfer may have been barely breaking even or even in the red. Previously unknown gambling losses revealed reporting by golf journalist Alan Shipnuck in an upcoming Phil Mickelson biography claims that the golfer's gambling losses were far more extensive than previously known. When the Securities and Exchange Commission investigated him in 2016, Mickelson was accused of paying off a gambling debt to professional gambler Billy Walters. A source with access to SEC documents said in the biography that Mickelson lost more than 14 millions over a four-year period between 2010 and 2014, roughly equivalent to his estimated annual income. Shipnuck wrote the following about it. That's an obscene amount of money. But once he paid his taxes, he was left with, what, low 20s? Then he had to cover his plane and mansions, plus his agent, caddy, pilots, chef, personal trainer, swing coaches, and sundry others. Throw in all the other expenses of a big life, like an actual T-Rex skull for a birthday present, and that leaves, what, $10 million? 
per the government audit. That's roughly how much Mickelson averaged in annual gambling losses. In other words, it's quite possible he was barely breaking even, or maybe even in the red. And Mickelson's income dropped considerably during his winless years from 2014 to 17. So what about his breakup with his caddy Jim Bones McKay in 2017? Phil Mickelson has agreed to a mutual split with longtime caddy Jim Bones McKay. After the duo had been together for 25 years, Alan Shipnuck reveals the backstory about his breakup with Jim Bones McKay. He shared the reason for their split was also largely money motivated, as Phil had a staggering debt he owed his former caddy. It is even said that Bones actually fired Phil as he was owed $900,000. Phil said the following about it to the press. After 25 very rewarding and memorable years, Bones and I have mutually decided to end our player-caddy relationship. Our decision is not based on a single incident. We just feel it's the right time for a change. Bones is one of the most knowledgeable and dedicated caddies in the world. He is always prepared and has the ability to make decisions in pressure-packed situations. Bones is without a doubt one of the most thoughtful people that I've ever known. The next player to work with him will obviously be very lucky. What do you think about this? It sure has been a very tough year for Phil Mickelson. As a result, Mickelson had not been playing golf after the shocking revelations by golf writer Shipnuck. But was this then also the reason that Phil Mickelson joined the new Breakaway Live series? The Saudi Golf League, which is financed by the Saudi government and is led by Greg Norman, has guaranteed players huge sums of cash and promised appearance fees for playing in lesser tournaments than the PGA Tour. However, the PGA Tour has vowed to disqualify any player who competes in the breakaway, making double-dipping extremely perilous. Because Mickelson referred to the Saudi government as scary and they also killed Khashoggi, however, later he also apologized for his remarks. Mickelson has largely vanished since the scandal, and it was unknown whether he will preserve his implausible 2021 PGA Championship at the finals. Phil Mickelson had long been a critic of the way PGA Tour withholds money from its players, and the 51-year-old golfer responded by highlighting the PGA Tour's obnoxious greed for the amount of money the sports body siphons off and does not distribute to golfers. These comments weren't well received by many fans players, and absolutely not the heads of the PGA Tour. Considering his remarks about the PGA's greed, was it then Phil's greed to join the LIV Tour? As the massive paydays have managed to lure many big-name golfers to the new tour. And now, according to a source cited by Golf Channel's Brent Lee Romine, Mickelson struck a deal worth roughly $200 million. So we can understand Phil had around 200 million reasons to sign up for the tour. This money sure comes in handy with the massive gambling losses. According to the London Telegraph, which quoted unnamed sources, Mickelson has received an upfront payment of $42 million and is obligated to compete in all eight of the Live Golf Invitational's events, more than $28 million in prize money and $7 million for team players are available at the tournament. As of now, no new information has been released on who will be participating or how the team component will operate in order to play in the first Live Golf Invitational series. According to Yahoo Sports, Mickelson has already received $13 million from the Live Golf upfront, which would require him to compete in all eight events or give up some of the money. What do you think of the fact that Mickelson lost millions as a result of gambling? Do you think he'll be able to overcome all the controversy and criticism? And do you think he is joining the Live Tour to pay for his debts? Let us know in the comments. That's the end of this video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.